Hi, my name's Amanda. I am a coach and a trans channel, and welcome back to my series where I channel my higher self. This week, she has a really, really deep topic and something that I hold very near and dear to my heart, and that is the topic of self-worth and how underneath it all, the thing that we want, all of us, more than anything, is to feel loved and to feel worthy of feeling loved and to feel lovable and valued inside of ourselves. And yet the idea of worth is an attribute that we kind of put at the very bottom of our list in our society. And above that, we place how successful we are, how funny we are, how pretty we are, how much of an impact we can make. And yet the thing that we want more than anything, it goes right at the bottom of the list. And so how do you come to terms with that? How can you find and ground into your sense of self inside of a society that doesn't necessarily value those things or put an emphasis on them, despite that being the thing that drives everything that you do and everything that you feel? It's a really important topic that we start to have more conversations around, I believe, and I hope that it hits home for you as much as it does for me. Hello, my loves. I am so happy to be back amongst you all. I have been absent for some time as I have needed some respite, but I have returned to share with you a beautiful message that I believe will resonate on a very deep level, even if you've never taken it into consideration before. As I believe that the topic of self-love runs inside each of us, it is the thing that drives every single one of our desires and our decisions, whether or not we realize it. Because at the most basic fundamental level, you desire to feel it. If you cannot feel loved, then what are you worthy of? At the end of the day, this is what it comes down to. Am I worthy of the love that I desire to feel from myself or not? And if the answer is no, then I must continue my efforts in one way or another until I feel it has been earned. However, what I would like to point out to you today is will it ever be earned through your actions, through your affirmations, and through your deepest desires realized? When will you offer it freely? And at what point in time will you decide that enough is enough and nothing else is needed. When you desire to embark upon a project of some sort inside of a lifetime, what drives the necessity of it for you? Wealth? Establishment of your sense of self? Relationships? Pride inside of a job well done? What is the underlying reason why those things are important to you? What is the reason why wealth is important to you? And I do not mean money to survive on this planet, although that is a whole separate conversation that we can get into. I speak at this moment of wealth, more than is needed. 
why is that something that you deem to be valuable over less? Once more, when I say less, I do not mean less than is needed. I mean less than is desired. What drives your desire to feel accomplished inside of yourself? To feel that you have done a good job at something, to have excelled in a way that you desired to. What is the importance of feeling accomplished? Why do the relationships in your life matter to you? And why do certain people matter more than others? The reason why these things are desired for you, my love, is because they have a promise of accessing love beneath them. Love that you feel has been earned. And because it has been earned, earned, it can be fully felt. And the feeling of fully being able to open up to the devotion that you desire to feel is so all encompassing and overwhelming that it drives every single instinct inside of you to push harder to be able to embody it for yourself. And the reason why this drive to feel loved is so all-encompassing is because you feel a sense of resonance inside of it. It calls to you because you remember that it is you. And so it is not simply the emotional experience of love that you're desiring to feel. You're desiring to come home to who you really are. You're desiring to see through the illusion that was painted over you inside of this lifetime, that when you entered it, slowly started to take hold over time until all you could see and remember was the illusion itself. The aspects of you that were molded over time and experience that shielded you from the full extent of the love that you are and the desire to come back to. And so what you are doing when you are seeking to feel love inside of your life is you are seeking to experience the truth of who you are. You are seeking to come back to you, your essence, the reality that you are inside. And the reason why you are seeking that so desperately is because you want to be able to embody you inside of this lifetime where you couldn't before. Because before you were caught up in the illusion and now you seek a different experience of you. You are seeking to remember who you are and experience it fully. And the reason why this message has found you today is to help you along that path and to help you see where the path is guiding you. Because up until now, it has guided you into all of those external realities, seeking it through accomplishments, seeking it through wealth, seeking it through specific personal relationships and outcomes. But the reason why those things never seem to fulfill you in the way you desire them to is because the love that you desire to feel is not found there in the unconditional sense in which you are seeking to experience it. And so I am here with you today to show you 
the path that's needed of you to walk in order to get to your desired destination, which is you. You must begin to see that it doesn't matter what you do inside of your life. All the successes, all the triumphs didn't lead you to the feeling you desired to feel because it was so fleeting. That is not unconditional love, my loves. That is simply pride and a job well done, which can feel similar, but the way to distinguish the two is that one dissipates in time while the other remains constant. The unconditional love that you desire to feel is the recognition that you simply are worthy of anything and everything, regardless of who you are and what you've done with your life. But there is something oddly dissatisfying about allowing that realization fully in. And that is what I would like you to focus on right now. When I offer that you can feel unconditional acceptance for who you are, regardless of what you accomplish and how much wealth you have possessed, part of that feels slightly uncomfortable because one, what do you do then? If there's nothing left for you to do, to earn, to become, to foresee, to achieve, to realize, if everything is perfect just as it is, and I am already one, where do I go from here? Where does that leave me? And what I would like to put forward for you is the notion that it leaves you with open, endless possibilities. Because when you no longer need to create wealth, relationships, and accomplishments, what is possible for you? What is available for you? And what truly calls to you? Can you find satisfaction inside of a lifetime that is not driven by those things externally? And if the answer to that is no, that is simply where you are. And I encourage you to continue at that for as long as you desire to. But if the answer is yes, and that something else truly does call to you, but you've never allowed yourself to fully experience what that could be like because all those other things took precedent, then I am here to demonstrate to you where you have been limiting your own sense of worthiness. because you are worthy of so much more than those things. In fact, you are those things. You are those things embodied already, but you have been chasing them externally because you haven't fully felt worthy of them. And whenever you have a sense of need inside of your life, that comes from a fear of not having it because without it, you are less than whole. But if you were to focus your attention on things that truly call to you regardless of how they might feel on the other side, and it's simply the act of engaging with them, that brings levity to the experience. Then you are not depending on it to offer you anything in return.
because you don't need anything from it. You're everything that you could possibly need and more. And it can be challenging for the human mind to want to experience something, to pour their heart and energy into something if they do not foresee an exchange on the other side of it. If you do not believe it's going to give you wealth or recognition, then what's the point? And this is exactly what I desired to show you today is where you're still feeling in need, in lack inside of you. Wealth is not earned. Wealth is claimed. And what I mean by this is that those who are wealthy do not always feel a sense of embodiment inside of that experience. Oftentimes, they're still seeking for more. And so they haven't fully claimed their sense of self yet. But because wealth is not something that you have experienced yet in the way you desire to, you perceive them to have something that you do not. And this is where the need comes from. The desire to feel worthy of more than you already have. Only when you no longer need of yourself will you feel the full embodied love that you are seeking. And from that place of fully embodied acceptance, you become the limitation that you have been seeking less of. You become more than the concept of limitation itself. You become limitlessness beyond the concept of any form of limitation. Because love, unconditional love and acceptance is what you are when it's fully embodied and it knows nothing less because nothing less exists inside of its level of awareness. It must simply be bought into first before it can be embraced. And we are heading towards an era where the need for more is beginning to dissipate. And you will begin to notice where this need is showing up for you more and more. And it's going to become very uncomfortable to exist inside of a reality where you are constantly chasing after a feeling of desiring to feel worthy. And you will begin to notice that it doesn't offer you the same things you once believed it did. And this is why you have found yourself here at this time. I desire to offer you a path forward towards a different way of being, but you have to be willing to embrace the notion that nothing more is needed for you first. When you can see that you already have everything that you need, except for the love that you desire to feel then this becomes your new objective is to allow it in where you've been holding it at bay and see what shifts for you as a byproduct of that. And you may be surprised to find 
that much comes into your sphere of influence that was not able to come through before because the neediness of other things occupied your energy where it no longer will now. Everything you need has already been made available for you. How can you see that truth in that? How can you see the brevity in that? You are all the energy that you need. And when you can fully trust in your own frequency potential, you expand beyond the human need itself. And your creation potential exceeds what you've previously been capable of because you will no longer be limited by your own perspective of lack and limitation itself. I love you dearly. And if expansion of the soul is something you're desiring to experience at this time, I invite you forward into a new level of conscious awareness of your own power of love. Call upon your own soul self when you desire to anchor into the worthiness that is already available for you so that you can shed the concept that you've never been unworthy in the first place. Worthiness doesn't exist unless you see it that way. And it's time to let go of the belief system that you didn't know was running your life so that you can expand into something new. Thank you for listening. I love you all. Goodbye.